This is called, this is not in, in the book of, I don't know if it would be in the next book or not. Uh, the Steady Silence of Winter. Chicago water tower lights, likewise the pumping station across the avenue, highlight stone ripples via shadows. Light snow falls, now heavier, uh, now heavier earlier. More distant buildings stand muted silhouettes and snow falls. Um, gauze effect twilight, white blankets, everything. Slushy streets, I lost my clothes. Slushy streets and sidewalks wet. Snow-free uh, paths along buildings, uh, walls draw pedestrians. They move swiftly, rushed by the wintry cold, hats. Knit caps, boots, bare hands shoved deep into outer coat pockets, gloved hands, arms, swinging momentum. Earmuffs in the bare head. Traffic moves steadily along Michigan Avenue, slower. Headlights, tail lights, seemingly mark awareness of the progressive descent toward night and falling temperatures. Media doesn't report the fates of the homeless during extended snowfalls and falling mercury. Snowflakes swirl and wind gusts illuminated in streetlight glow, swarming as though industrious winter bees. There was one poem I did, wasn't going to read, so I didn't mark it, but if I can find it, um, without taking too long, I will read it. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to find it no more. My mom died. She had a stroke on January 8th, and um, she died on the 21st. Uh, she was 90. This is called uh, The Relentless Machinery. I wrote it uh, right the, 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 on New Year's Day. Um, respite. Sitting in Seattle's best cafe, glad my elderly mother wanted to stay home last night. New Year's Eve, welcoming in the nail stranger with a weary hope and giddy longing. Among friends, sitting next to my ex-wife, chatting, watching DVD scenes of seemingly ancient days. Joan Baez singing a cappella. Walls bullet pockmarked in grimy Sarajevo narrow street. People milling, walking, listening, passing and seeming pantomime, drained of expression, no tickets, free, risking her celebrated life for care, for values, for love. As Connie Doe's 2010 entered amid voices slightly above a coin near a whisper, I'm booking venues, happy to escape my exhausting vigilance of mother to sit before an audience again, to enter that marvelous space where language is picked and sorted, ripe and succulent. You'd think straight from Washington State. My mother, both adversary and friend, undoubtedly will sleep as her TV will broadcast the static hum of electronic snow. I sometimes look at her sitting, sleeping, and wonder where the personal youth and memory went. If in good humor, I will wave with Charles' innocence of amusement and joy. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. At the audience, smile. Um, I smile. Okay. At the audience, smile, spur, chuckle, hug them to me. Begin this poem about social workers, professional and others, each struggling in a callous world where rage and passion scar, deny, crush, and numb until. Christ cries abandonment again, Ili Ili Lama Sabachthani. Was his a forlorn whimper or a savage cry from a void of sorrow, of dread? Did he puzzle an egg in his sword? Did I get it wrong, Father? While elsewhere, my mother will dream of light, will dream of dark, will straddle rainbows, bridging black and white, a pot of gold at each end. Her warrior woman with each breath, more phantom, more ethereal, blending, a bloodless bleeding into the infinite, uh, infinite space of all that is the non-space of nada, that is the before, beyond, and after, where there is no hourglass.
I really like Jane Kenyon's poetry, a real loss that she died so young. Um, I'm going to finish with this poem, um, yeah, partly because I backslid again on smoking. Reading Jane Kenyon. I'm reading Jane Kenyon, the wonderfully light images stamped so tenderly, matter-of-factly, progressing to the delicately tiny ribbon of poems, pointed in. I backslid, smoking again, hoping on that moment when the absurdity of the flagrant abuse catches hold and I snuff the last cigarette to extinction. I turn the page, resentful of my defiance, as I put flame to paper, wrap tobacco, and read some more. Last night, I was fully aware of the transience of life, its temporariness, uh, temporariness, temporariness, totally tangible and omnipresent, fully alive in the ambience of hung photographs and framed mementos, the gallery of my life, and felt remarkably sad such a tender voice lives on in the bound pages of the poems, but her breath no more. Thank you. Feel bad and see what you should even be staying here. Give it up once more for Nat Hanger. As I was starting to say before, it's one of the poems from his book, that two liner, which I have to read again because I didn't have a um, bookmark, um, uh, No Theory of Bruises. You saw value when I was uncertain, a debt that can never be paid. <laughs> Never enough, but thank you once again. So I've got to do it once more. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I don't have any sort of sheet handy of what the upcoming features are, but I do know that next week, which is the week right before Halloween, which I want everybody to dress up for, because I'm going to be... for. I, well, it's, it's right before Halloween. Well, yeah, the feature doesn't have to, because okay. our awesome, awesome, awesome feature, Dave Getsch, because our feature next week. You're awesome. Give it up for Dave next week. And I want you all to dress up, because I'm going to have to, because it's the week before Thanksgiving, or I keep saying Thanksgiving for Halloween. Halloween. Um, but if you want to think about November, the first one that's coming up in the first week in November, if everybody wants to vote on Election Day, the same day has a triad as Tom Roby, Janine Ravenslute, and... Oh, yeah. And Charlie Newman doing a group project together in the next week. So I want everybody to come out and thank you, thank you. And if everybody's interested, we've got a great... Vote and then come to the open mic. Pardon me? Vote and then come. And they have a little sticker that says, I voted, yay for me, kind of thing. Exactly. And uh, and thank you also very much. Um, the, this will be available, this feature, as a podcast. which And you also have YouTube clips because you're just so awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you very much for coming out. And I look forward to seeing everybody here next week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Twelve bucks. Twelve dollars. So I've already been turned. Hey, can I buy a book? Yeah. You certainly can. Oh, How much are they? They're almost. Yeah, it's a bargain. $12. Apparently, the publisher was a bastard that couldn't give them a discount, but it's fifteen bucks you can get for twelve dollars. Yes, I would pay. <laughs> I got me one. What? I've got me one. I look forward to seeing you next week. I mean, I'm on point, but.